fibers of the anterior vitreous base share with the zonular system a common embryologic origin, the ciliary epithelium. They follow the curve of the posterior lens capsule of the zonular systems, ciliary processes, pars plana, and of the anterior retina adjacent to the ora serrata. In normal phacic and pseudophacic eyes, the anterior vitreous gel is compact and transparent. Vitreous fibers and their attachments and boundaries to adjacent structures are hardly distinguishable, even under high magnification. Under pathological conditions, anterior vitreous cortex fibers become individualized and cleavage plans from adjacent structures become obvious. The endoscopic probe, introduced through a sclerotomy located right below the ciliary processes, allows to perform close hyloidocapsulosonulociliary dissection and to individualize the two parts of the anterior vitreous base. The anterior part, or zonular part, is located between the zonular system and a condensation called the medium white line formed by the attachment of the most anterior vitreous fibers to mid pars plana, situated at about 3.5 mm from limbus. Those fibers are relatively independent from the retina, contrary to those constituting the posterior part of the anterior vitreous base, located between the medium white line and the vitroretinal juncture. In order to generate the least tractions possible over the retina during intraoperative motions, sclerotomies are at best located in the anterior part of the anterior vitreous base. Blood collected inside the anterior part of the anterior vitreous base underlines the Viagra ligament, 360 degrees attachment of the anterior vitreous cortex to the posterior lens capsule, right below the posterior zonular system. Endoscopy allows 360 degrees cleansing 